Hi friends and lurkers and welcome back to the channel. I have been dying on this game coming out and I have to admit, I have to be honest here with you, okay friends? I played this for about a half an hour before attempting it again and it was absolutely crazy. The footage was unusable because the AI drivers were just completely insane and they would constantly like ram into the back of you causing me like hundreds of euros worth of damage that I kept having to repair but I thought to myself do you know what I've, I've got the game we may as well give it a go no matter what flaws we get in the game um, I've decided to call the company Vava Vons the last time it was Von Cabs so let's just jump straight in and hopefully now that I've got a little bit better understanding of the game we can actually um we can hopefully get a little bit better uh, footage for it. Welcome to the vibrant city of Barcelona, where history meets modernity in a symphony of architectural wonders. From the bustling narrow streets of the Gothic Quarter to the breathtaking landmarks the city has to offer, your journey as a taxi driver begins. Feel the sea breeze on your face as you cruise along sun-kissed beaches and embark on an unforgettable adventure. Embrace the spirit of Barcelona and become the most sought-after taxi driver in town. But first, let's get you a taxi driver's license. So guys, there was actually a little test that you can do at the start of this, which I've just skipped because I've already done it. Um, you literally drive around some cones and you learn where to park and things like that. Um, basically just to get your license. Um, it's pretty boring, it's basic stuff. Um, you literally just learn how to park, parallel park and stuff like that and I thought well I've already done that so... I would rather just jump straight into the game and um, Let's just start picking up our customers, building our business. Oh my god, I thought that black bag was a cat there. Okay, so we will... Right, so you get two options here. You can either just fill up completely or you can hold the A button like you would at a normal um, garage. But I'm just going to fill it right up. We've got $3,000. Um, it's also wanting us to visit a garage, so, sorry, I'm not sure if the, the writing's translating is like blurry on this, um, I don't play things full screen and normally when I tend to like shrink the screen a bit, sometimes the graphics go a bit funny. No, we're going to this, we're going to the garage, not the person. Yeah, this is what we want. Yeah. Whoops. Right, so hopefully now... I know I'm on the wrong side of the road. And I am going to have to do a little bit of a turn here. Oh, you're going a bit fast, sir. Calm yourself, please. So you do have cruise control and everything in this game. It's a pretty well thought out game. You can put all the windows down and everything. You can actually, you know, do it from here and stuff like that and actually slows down the game a bit to give you a chance to do things. Um, you can also do it from inside your car. So you have all your buttons and everything here. I prefer to drive like this because it's really hard to see um, what's going on when you're actually inside the car. Although, I will drive a little bit just to show you what it's like because I do like the sounds. I've really nailed the sounds. It reminds me of like when I was a kid and we used to drive to um, the caravan every weekend for our holiday 
ex mum and dad just on a caravan and uh, you know as kids you always got tired in the back of the car the low rumble of the car was the first ASMR when you were a kid you just fell asleep in the back seat listening to the engine so I do feel like they've nailed the sounds quite well so I will try and drive like this for a little bit just so you can see what it's like um, sometimes the drivers are a little bit crazy. I did read somewhere that if you don't put your handbrake on at the lights, that's when you tend to get um, rear-ended. Um, so I do always try and remember to put it on now when I'm stopped, as that red indicator shows at the bottom there on the dash. We've got our um, light on and that's why it stays red. And as you can see, that driver was just ready to turn straight into my lane there. So they are a little bit crazy sometimes. You can get speeding tickets and stuff as well. There are um, speeding cameras everywhere. Um, the police are also everywhere. Okay, this is probably going to be easier to do like this. Right, so here you can do everything you can do at the petrol station. I didn't show you there, but there is actually a car wash at the petrol station. But you can do it all here. So as you can see, you can fill up your fuel. There we go. You can fix your car. You can wash it. And you can also do all these things. What I want to do, though, is the um, customization. So I'll, I'll quickly show you the cars that you can get in-game. So this is the one we have, 6,000 euros. That one, I suppose, if you wanted to do, like, weddings and stuff. This is more like a little city hatchback kind of thing. And we have this one. I see these everywhere. There's kind of like a remake of the Toyota Avensis. Um, this is pretty cool. A Parallax, 16,000. 9,000. I don't know what the difference between that and our car is. It looks the exact same. I don't know. I mean, maybe that is our car. That'll be maybe our... Yeah, that's our starting car. That's why. I was just kind of wondering there because it says um, selling price is 6000 but obviously you're not going to get the full amount for it. Then you have, like, um, a... um minibus sort of thing. And, of course, what obviously looks like a Mercedes. So hopefully we will have a... um eventually a high-class fleet of all these lovely cars. Um, what I do want to do though, um, you can always get like electric engines and stuff. We've not done any of those yet. Um, I want to customize the car. So here is all the different sort of paint jobs you can get. This is kind of like Gaudi. Uh, I've actually been to Barcelona a couple of times and um, a lot of his um, work is mosaic. But I do really, really like this. I just love anything that's like sort of neon blue. All my logos and stuff are this colour, so I think we're going to go for that one. Um... Let's put some lights under the car. Why not? Oh, I can't get them. Oh, okay. Um, I, to be honest, I quite like the one that's already there. Shall we give it us? So we need to be level two to unlock that. We can't do that yet. Oh damn, they're all ugly as well, you know, and these these aren't even alloys, they kind of just look like wheel trims. You know those plastic covers they put on cars, wheels, instead of like the actual metal ones? Right, so what about the driver? So this is the player progression, okay, so... Discovering monuments and points of interest gives you more experience. Um, 
Do I even have any points? I've none. Right. So basically we just came here to paint the car. <laughs> That's all we've done. Right, so now let's look on the map. Let's go and find... I don't know what was going on there. Let's find someone. This is the easiest route. And we will go and start earning money and we'll go and start earning XP. Right, is there any cars coming? No. Right, let's just go. I mean, just look at the paint job on this, friends. It is absolutely gorgeous. That metallic paint, just look at it. Oh, yeah. We are the nicest taxi in town, guys. As long as we don't bump into anybody and ruin it. Right, okay, let's put our um, blinkers on. Now, the steering is a little bit sensitive in this, but I'm just going to leave it because I did actually try and fiddle with it quite a bit when I first tested the game, and I just couldn't find the right... It was either too sensitive or not enough. You were going around corners and you were taking them like a horse with a bad leg, seriously. So you were either going round corners too fast or you weren't going round them fast enough, so I've just decided to leave it. I'll just have to be a bit more careful with my controls, I suppose. Hi there. Hi. <clears throat> now, I will put my own music into this. I'm not quite sure if the um, game music is copyrighted. You do have a radio in the game. Um, but I will put in my own snazzy good music for this game. So as far as we're concerned, it's coming from the radio. Let's let's enter that land of make-believe friends. <laughs> right, here's another crazy person that just comes around the corner when um, I have the right of way, I believe. Oh, just look at the glare coming off that paint job. See, he's in the wrong lane to be going left. The, the AI in this is still a little bit janky. Let's go before he hits us. Um, we can, of course, also use the cruise control. So this should keep us going at the correct speed. I think it's on anyway. It should be. I think I just turned the lights on. Yep, I did. Let me just check this. Hang on a second. There is... Where is the bit for cruise control? There we go. So it's on now. So this should maybe keep us at like 35. Okay, and when you brake it turns it off. That's exactly how my car works as well. Ah, so it is on. Yeah, that the shortcut does work. I just must not have um, done it right. So I do believe the speed limit is like 50, so... We do, however, need to get into this lane. Let's just um, cut ahead in front of this fella here. Sorry, that was me, guys. You see what I mean? Some of these corners are very, very tight. And I'm guessing this is a taxi. Well, this is a bike lane. Okay, let's try and not hit these bollards. And that orange bar, I forgot to mention, friends, that is the customer's Bye. patience. <clears throat> so our next 
it's, uh, I'll also recommend jobs too, so you don't always have to go to the map. So you can just press X and it'll take us to Eugenia Medina. But that's a tongue twister. Oh, she's here. Oh, okay. Eugenia Medina. And again, it's another one of these sharp turns. Oh, yep, we made it. That was handy. She was right there. I, I thought we, we were going to have to go and collect her. Right, so the speed limit is 70 on these roads. Okay, so let's just... We'll keep ourselves at like 65. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Yep, we're just we've just got a lovely cruise and speed here. Just taking in all the scenery and we're gonna slow down a bit for this bump. I do not want our um, passengers' heads going through the roof. Whoops. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that these speed bumps are actually worse for the environment. I know they slow people down, but because people are slowing their cars down and starting them again, it's like more wear and tear for your vehicle. I hope you're not honking at me, sir. Now, I think it wants us in this lane. And then for some reason wants us back into this lane. Okay. We might be a little all over the place here, guys. Trying to follow this possessed sat-nav. Let's drive inside for a little bit, okay? I feel like it's, it's much more the experience. And here's our, here's our guests. Right. Everything okay with you today, ma'am? Yep, there we go, and we've had a crash. Right, let's just get round this. I did check the mirror there, by the way. There was nothing coming. You, again, are in the wrong lane to be going right, my kind sir. I believe that should be the cruise control. Now, sometimes they do talk to you, the passengers, and they do ask you questions. And it does um, help you to engage with them because they sometimes give you a better tip and it gives you more experience. It can sometimes be a little fidgety though if you are trying to drive, so I guess that's why you get the option to talk to them and the option not to talk to them, I suppose. squeeze into this lane here. Where are you going, crazy sir? Move! Jesus, see what I mean? They just sit there like absolute plonkers. Right. Oh, I need to come round and back down. Okay, I see these one-way streets. But, you know, I'm just going to cheat a little bit here because I am not driving all the way round. So if we just do a nice big long turn like this. I 
And there we go, ma'am. Safe and sound. So we made... How much did we make there? 408. She never even gave us a tip. Right. See, this This is annoying. The, sometimes the blinker doesn't go off until you turn the wheel. Right, so let's go and get our next victim. I, I mean, um, customer. They're honestly just such bad drivers. They really are. And you want to try and make it like realistic sim, but they're just so terrible sometimes. Right, so we can only go 70 here. That was a police sitting there, by the way. I've noticed the game does that a lot as well. It randomly just freezes while you're playing. Don't know if it's the graphics or whatever. Right, so I obviously need to come over this way. And then is it down here? Yes, it is. Are there any speed limit signs on this road? I have no idea. Oh damn it, this is only AM. <laughs> oh, that was so close. So close, I do apologize. I thought this was a two lane street. And at the top of that mountain, by the way, guys, it's called Park Gwell. It's where um, Antonio Gaudi lived. I mean, I don't know what it's like in the rest of the world, but our taxis certainly don't mount curbs like that to pick up Hello. people. <laughs> Hello. Oh my goodness, that was um, a bit of a disaster there. <clears throat> I do apologise, ma'am. We are just fresh off the funny farm. Only got our licence this morning, but rest assured, Vava Von's cabs are the safest in the city because we're not as crazy as half these little AI people. As I say, um, parked over a um, zebra crossing. Oh dear, we've had an accident. I do need to wash the car as well. It is pretty filthy. Cruise control on. Oh, is this where she wanted to go? It's not really that far, is it? Excuse me, ma'am. You can moonwalk somewhere else, please. Thanks. Have a nice day. <clears throat> you too. 
So how much money did we get for that? Yes, five stars. 130. Oh, and we got a 12 euro 53 tip. Um, I'm not going to take you just yet, sir, because what I want to do is go and wash the car. And it looks like there is a garage just down here, which is perfect. Um, any cars coming quickly? Nope. The car is dirty, you can see. It's filthy. And we cannot have that. Not at Vava Vons. How are you meant to turn some of these turns, I swear? Right, so do we... we have got to level 2. So let's just fill up. And we've got tiny little repair costs. I mean, I don't think we've hit anything. Let's get this car spick and span. Now let's look at the customization because we can now get the nicer wheels, I believe. These ones. $500, mind you. And we can get ourselves the spoiler for $100. Um, inside. It's not giving us the option. I don't know what happened there. Let me just try that again. There we go. What do we think of the seats? There's not really much, is there? But you know... Do you know something though? I'm going to go for the black and red. Just because it's a bit different. And I think we're going to go for a hula girl. Right, also what I wanted to do was the driver. So I've got one skill point. So, um, discovering monuments, <clears throat> points of interest gives you more experience. Your character progresses faster. Um, using car stations, cleaning takes less time. Uh, so that's cheaper. Refueling and charging. Oh, that's a good one. Um, law abiding. One ticket per day is cancelled. Oh. i say this one for now. Yep, that'll do us. And of course... It did not um, point us in the direction that we need to get out. Right, well, I think I'm going to call it here, guys. Um, it went a little bit better this time. I didn't crash as much. I feel like I've learned to control the car a bit more. Um, the AI still needs a lot of work. I've seen developers comment reviews on Steam. Um, they say they're constantly working on it, but yeah, it definitely needs a lot of work. But I hope you enjoyed at least what I've done so far. Hope you like the car. I absolutely love it. I mean, the paint job is phenomenal. Chef's kiss. Um, but yeah, if you would like to see more of this, um, please do like and comment. Um, let me know what you did like. Let me know if you've been to Barcelona and there's any place on the map that you want me to go. We don't have the full of Barcelona, but we have the, um, the sort of um, dock district down here. Um, hopefully more will open up soon. Um, but yeah. 
If you've made it this far, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Wow. 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 Wow.